Hello, my precious wife. Hello, Ryan. How are you holding up? Quite well. I just got back from work. Oh, I hate to ask. But how are things at work today? Stressful as usual. Hmm, sorry, dear. Yeah, thanks. It won't mean a thing once you're back home. And I'm snugly resting beside you. <laughs> well, I'll be home soon. I just rounded up a study group session here. That's good. Guess what I'm making for dinner? Honey, you don't have to make me dinner. I'll be home soon. It doesn't matter if you'll be home soon. I always enjoy helping out when I can. Thanks, hun. So, what's for dinner tonight? Spaghetti and meatballs. Oops, you tricked me. You were supposed to guess. Sorry, babe. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> it's a good thing you're back in college for your degree. Brings back your cheerful vibes I fell in love with. Unlike when you were at home all day just doing house chores. I know, right? I just wish everyone else was happy with my decision to go back to school. What do you mean? Your mother. What about my mother, Lisa? I... I don't know how to put this, but she's been acting all better since I started this degree. Come on, Lisa, my mom loves you. And you know that. Perhaps she loved me way back when we got married, but I tell you, she doesn't love me anymore. What makes you think so? Have you noticed how she always sneered each time we go out shopping and you're making payments? Sneer? I haven't noticed that. Well, you wouldn't because it was directed at me. That's ridiculous. Watch the way you speak about my mom. But it's the truth, Ryan. Do you remember the day your mom said all I did was spend your money without contributing anything to running the household? Um, I think I do. But I don't think she meant it. Wait, was that the reason you took up that job? Not exactly. I was going to get a job with or without your mom's condescending remark. Come on, Lisa. Why do you make it sound so bad? It was just a harmless remark. See, you got that job because of that. <laughs> it's not funny, Ryan. All right, I'm sorry. You know, it doesn't matter what my mom says. You and I both know that you contribute a fair amount to running this family. Besides, I'm not complaining. I understand that you have to focus on your studies also. Yeah, you understand. But the 854 people on my snap don't. Here we go again. Don't roll your eyes at me because I know that's what you just did. <laughs> so what is it about the people on your snap? I posted on my Instagram when I got a new hairstyle. I got a lot of likes and cool comments until your mom dropped her opinion. Can you believe your mom actually commented on my page saying I was lazy and I was spending her son's money? That I had no job and still had the guts to change hairstyles on impulse. Then people began to comment on all sorts of nasty stuff. Wow. How did my mom get to your Instagram? The woman has a smartphone for goodness sake. She can access anything and anyone although I blocked her off my snap immediately. Honestly, I don't think you should be worried about what those random people on your page think. They're not all random people. Some are my course mates, and it was quite embarrassing to have them read such preposterous words. I still don't think my mom's intentions were to hurt you. She might be saying those things as a way of challenging you. You know, to make you work harder at your studies. Oh, really? Was that how she raised you? Well, she wasn't the best of moms, but she was sure one tough woman. Please don't take her words to heart. My mom loves you, okay? All right, Ryan. I'll agree with you that her words were just to bring out the best in me, however hurtful they felt. But the next time she makes such remarks, I won't take it lightly, because I know my worth. All right, Lisa. Stay safe. Hello, daughter-in-law. Carol. Hi. Um, good morning. Away with the pleasantries. Where are you? Excuse me? Is there something I'm missing? Don't make me repeat myself. I don't understand your question. I'm right where I should be. No, you're not. I'm in the house now. And no one is at home. What? How did you get in? You must be silly if you think I'd need to take permission from you before coming to my son's house. So Ryan is aware you're around? No. Does he need to? Whatever belongs to him belongs to me also. Besides, I have a spare key, and I can come whenever I want to. Whoa. Ryan and I are both the ones who paid for that house, so I deserve to have a say on whatever goes on in there. Really? I didn't know, but that doesn't change a thing. 
Besides, where do you get the money from? Last time I checked, you don't have a job. Sorry to disappoint you, Carol, but I do have a job. A high-paying one at that. What? Why wasn't I informed? Since when did you youngsters begin to make decisions without me? Since you became a nosy mother-in-law. Me? Nosy? How dare you? I'm doing just the right thing by guiding you both. I see. <laughs> I suppose Ryan isn't in support of this. Fortunately, he is. Oh, my poor boy. Thank God I'm around to set things straight. We didn't ask to have you around, Carol. Shut up and listen to me. First, I told you not to go back to college. I mean, why would you neglect your duties as a wife and run off studying? I'm not neglecting my duties as a wife. And if I was, Ryan is in the best position to inform me. I'm married to him, not you. Besides, I didn't just get married to a businessman like Ryan without having intentions of scaling up career-wise. Back in my days, a woman would drop all her ambitions once she got married. You're even lucky to have someone like my son as your husband. He's rich and caring. What else would a woman want? You know what? I'm not having this conversation with you anymore. Ryan and I discussed this before marriage, so he doesn't have a problem with me pursuing my college degree. Can you not bring this up anymore? I wish I could stop, but you keep giving me reasons not to. <laughs> what is it again? You're really getting on my nerves, Carol. I checked in the fridge if I could get something to eat, and I found this leftover spaghetti and meatballs that taste awful. Did going to college also drain you of your culinary abilities? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry you had to see that. If you had informed us you'd be coming, I'd have prepared something nice for you. After what I just tasted, I don't think I'd want to eat another meal from you. You've been feeding my poor baby badly. Little wonder he didn't want to come over and see his darling mother. He probably doesn't want me to see how skinny he's become. It's funny how that the meal you tasted was actually prepared by your darling son. <laughs> FYI, I'm still a great cook. Ryan only assists once in a while. He actually seems to enjoy it, too. Liar! My son couldn't have prepared something that terrible. Fine. You're free to believe whatever you want to. I suggest you leave wherever you are now and come attend me this instant. I'm at work, Carol, and there's no way I'd risk being queried. Listen to yourself. Taking pride in your stupid job. I command you quit your job instantly. Ha ha ha. You're not the boss of me. You're so rude, Carol. Look, the house isn't such a mess. My house isn't a mess. I made sure I cleaned up everything before leaving for work. Yeah, everywhere except my room. Because I wasn't expecting you. Besides, I don't have the time to clean every single room in that house. You don't have time because you don't set your priorities right. You're a wife, Lisa. Act like one. In your books, being a wife is tantamount to sitting at home all day cooking, cleaning, and warming the bed, right? Of course. Wake up, Carol. This is the 21st century. All right. Fine. So when I bring my friends over and they ask why my son's house isn't a mess, I'll tell them that his wife is busy studying and working. So she has no time to take care of the home. There's no way I'm letting you bring a bunch of old nosy ladies into our home. You've really got some nerves, Lisa. When my son introduced you to me, I thought you were a simple woman who wouldn't be content with raising children and keeping the home. Now I know better. You're no different from those women I'd feared he'd end up with. Nah. You thought I was the type of woman who danced to your tunes and avoided stepping on your toes. Well, I'm done living that way. I'll respect you as my mother-in-law, but I won't hesitate to defend myself when my integrity is at stake. I honestly can't put up with your antics anymore. Me too. I'm tired of condoning you. I'm gonna tell Ryan just how I feel about this marriage. Hello, Lisa. How are things going at work? Hi, Ryan. Work has been smooth so far. At this rate, I might get a promotion when I'm done with my degree. <laughs> That'd be great. I'm happy you're settling in well. How about I take you out for dinner tonight? You know, to celebrate what a dedicated and hardworking wife you've been. I'd love to, but I can't. Why not? I have a deadline to meet, and I'm still far from completing the task. Ooh. All right, babe. I'll bring the dinner to you then, and I promise not to distract you too much. No deal. I don't want you to distract me at all. Talking of distraction, your mom came around today. 
You mean she came to our house without informing either of us? Yeah, she texted me not long ago. That's not possible. Funny enough, I just spoke with her and she didn't say anything about being at the house. I could show you the screenshot of our chat if you don't believe me. Nah, no need. But why would mom come to the house in the morning? She should know we'd be out of the house. Well, your mom believes a good wife should be at home all day long, and apparently a certain someone gave her the spare keys to the house. I'm sorry, that's on me. She requested it for the last time she was around. And you gave them to her without informing me? I didn't see it as a big deal. Now I see why your mother berates me. You indulge her too much, Ryan. Now she thinks she can do as she wishes in our home. What has she done this time around? She came over unannounced and has the guts to tell me I'm not fulfilling my duties as a wife because I'm running a part-time job alongside my degree. I understand if she's annoyed. We didn't inform her you'd be getting a part-time job. We didn't have to, babe. Try to understand her, Lisa. She's the only family I've got. I don't think it's bad if she wants to be involved in our lives. Ryan, how would you feel if my father came snooping around our home accusing you of not being a good enough husband? I wouldn't like that one bit. Good. So there's nothing for me to understand about your mom's behavior. She said a lot of nasty things to me today that I almost lost my temper. Wow. I'm really sorry, babe. You need to stop being sorry for your mother and actually make her apologize. It's funny how the things she told me over the phone are a direct opposite of what you're saying now. What do you mean? She called me earlier today and said you called her an old nosy mother-in-law because she informed you she'd be coming over. What? Yeah. She said you also told her you're busy with your work and college degrees, so you wouldn't have time to attend to her needs, and that she shouldn't come around anymore. When I heard those things, I thought you had decided to handle issues with my mom all by yourself. That's not true. Your mom is twisting my words. Don't tell me you believe her. Well, she sounded believable. Ryan. Just kidding. I intended for us to talk about it over dinner tonight. So my mom was really at our house today? Yes. Please talk to her. Let her know she can't be dictating how we run our home. No probs. I'll visit her over the weekend. Thanks, hun. Hello, nasty daughter-in-law. Hi, Carol. How dare you report me to my son? Report? Oh, don't you fiend ignorance with me. Carol, I don't understand you. I should be the angry one here. No, you have no right to be angry. Hmm. Did Ryan scold you for lying and being manipulative? Because that's exactly what you did by twisting my words and saying you didn't come to the house at all. Now you're hurt to the marrow that your precious son would stand up to you. <laughs> you can laugh all you want, because you'll be shedding tears pretty soon. Ryan came over to correct me over your alleged accusations, but I made him see why you were in the wrong, not me. <laughs> what? What do you mean? Like I said, I made Ryan see who the real liar and manipulator is. It's you. I gave him some advice but apparently he hasn't taken any action. So I decided to do what should be done myself. All right, I really do not understand what you're ranting about. Neither do I have so much time to spare. Can you get straight to the point? Let me guess. You're either chasing that useless degree of yours or you're at that prison you call a workplace. L-O-L. -L. Why would you say such things? When Ryan came over the weekend, he was trying to make me understand why you're pursuing a degree and also the nature of your job, but it doesn't make sense at all. He says you're in marketing, but I don't see you selling any products. Well, that's because it's digital marketing. You know, it's done online. If it's done online, what do you do when you say you go to work? Sometimes my physical presence is needed, although I work remotely on most days. Remotely? What does that mean? Never mind. I don't think you'd understand, lol. Whatever. Back in my day, most women in marketing were sluts. And I know you pretty well, Lisa. You're probably flirting with all sorts of men under the guise of studying or working. You know what, Carol? I'm done explaining myself or my job to you. Yeah, you don't need to. Because you'll be out of Ryan's life and mine soon. What? What do you mean? I hate to break it to you, but Ryan will be divorcing you soon. <laughs> what? 
That's impossible. Ryan hasn't said anything of such to me. Yeah, that's because he's a sweet man and doesn't want to break your heart. You may not know, but he's been putting up with the marriage all this while. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, then. I guess I'll discuss it with Ryan tonight. No need to. The divorce is a settled matter already. What? That's impossible. Ryan is even out of town. Yeah, I know. He couldn't face you, so I'm doing the talking for him. I don't believe any of this. Besides, I didn't get any divorce papers. You didn't have to. I got the papers signed and submitted on behalf of both of you already. How is that even possible? Hmm, it was very easy. You forged those documents? It wasn't exactly a forgery. Why did you make it sound like a terrible thing? It is a punishable offense, if you don't know. No one is punishing me. I'm a law-abiding elderly lady. I can't be punished for doing what's right for my son. Let me get this straight. Ryan doesn't know about this? Well, I told him it was time to get rid of you. You aren't exactly the type of wife I had imagined. He never got back to me, so I made some moves. So you better start packing your luggage, young lady. Do you really think it's that easy to dissolve a marriage? Yeah, what's the big deal? You don't even have a child with him yet, so there isn't going to be any serious paperwork about alimony or any settlement whatsoever. So all the properties would go to my darling son. Well, about that. Ryan and I agreed not to have kids until we're ready. And that's certainly not how the law works after a divorce. Properties don't just automatically go to the husband. There you go again. <laughs> you must think of yourself as a witty woman, always having an answer for everything I say. Let me break it to you, young lady. It doesn't matter what you and my son discussed. You both have to obey what I demand. I know you and I have never seen eye to eye, but I never thought you'd be this despicable. I wonder how you were able to raise such a fine man like Ryan. Well, keep wondering till you wander out of this house in our lives. <laughs> I've gotten a suitable wife for him. The daughter of my dear friend, Sally. She'll do whatever I tell her to. And she'll certainly be a good homekeeper and raise grandchildren for me. Unlike you, who enjoys gallivanting in the name of pursuing ambitions. You're really getting ahead of yourself lately, Carol. Whatever. Bye forever, Lisa. Hello, Ryan. Hi. I think it's high time you decided between your mom and myself. Because I'm sick and tired of her constant nagging. You won't believe this, but she just crossed the lines with me too. Huh? How? I thought she's your loving mom who could never go wrong. I shouldn't have kept this away from you, but Carl isn't really my mom. She's my mom's sister. What? What the heck? Yeah, I never knew my dad and was pretty young when I lost my mom. Carol was the closest thing I had to family. Wow, that's sad. Uh-huh, around the time I lost my mom, Carol was forced to take me in. But there really wasn't much she did other than provide a roof over my head. As little as seven, I had to beg to feed or offer to do a few jobs around an exchange for food. I really can't believe this. Well, it's the sad truth. Carol was always frolicking with men. Luckily, I was able to find a foster home that took me in and sent me to school. When Carol heard that I won a scholarship, she came looking for me, claiming to be my guardian. You want to know what she did? Uh, yeah? Tell me. The scholarship money was given to Carol and she squandered it on all her promiscuous lifestyle. What? As if she did that? Yeah, it took a lot of determination to become the successful man I am today. I really don't want to go back to the hurtful things Carol did to me. I'm sorry you had to go through those things, honey. Thank you, Lisa. I only chose to forgive Carol and adopt her as my mother because she was growing old and had no family. Not like she deserved it one bit. Carol is really a shameless woman. I can't believe she was promiscuous and then dared to label me as a slut. Carol said that to you? Yes, and here's the real shocker. We're divorced, illegally though. What? Divorced? What do you mean? I think you should ask her for yourself. It's time I did what I should have done a long time ago. She's definitely not going to scot-free this time around. That reminds me, you said she crossed the line with you too? Oh yeah? She was going to forcefully fix up a lady for me. Goodness gracious, that lady is really something else. Yeah, she kept spamming me with pictures of a random girl. 
I don't even know. And filling me with details of how she was a better wife than you are. Honey, at this point, I trust you to know what to do. Oh yeah, I do. Lisa, where are you? What do you mean, where am I? Why are you not picking up my calls? But you're responding to my texts here? That shows you are ignoring my calls willingly. What do you want from me? Well, exactly what I requested from you two weeks ago. Which is? Stop playing games with me, young woman. Will you stop being a nuisance, you old hag? What? How dare you? I see you think you owe me no respect since you aren't married to my son anymore. Huh? I saw this coming. A leopard never changes its spots. This is exactly what you are. A young lady who has neither manners nor regard. Carol, I have to give you that. I'm impressed with how you're able to put up with this act of yours. Whatever. I'm in front of the house now. Where are you? Come open the door for me? I thought you had the spare keys to the house. Why don't you open it like you always did? Don't worry. I won't tell you. <laughs> I've tried the lock several times, but it just won't open. What's so funny? The new owners of the house probably changed the lock. New owners? Yes. Ryan and I sold the house. What? Why? Because we're moving. What? How could he do that without my consent? I never gave him permission to. Your permission isn't needed over a property that isn't yours. No, no, no. I don't believe you. You mean you both relocated? Yep. And don't bother asking where, because you'll never be able to reach us. No! I was hoping that you'd left and we could move in with Ryan. We? Myself and Ryan's new wife. That's a dream that'll never come true. What do I do now? Why don't you speak to your darling son? Ryan isn't answering my chats anymore. He isn't picking up my calls either. You're getting all that you truly deserve, Carol. I disagree. I'm his mother and he should treat me with respect. Listen to yourself. How pathetic of you to want to enjoy the benefits of a mother without actually playing the role. Ryan told me you aren't his real mom, so get lost. Oh, so you finally got to know the truth. Well, I'm the only family he's got left, so that makes me his mother. You must really think yourself to be something important. Listen up, Carol. My husband has decided to ignore you forever. You're not his mother. And even if you were, from the things I've heard, you'd be a terrible mom. Don't speak of what you don't know of. It's not like you're a mother yourself. That might be what you think, but I'm actually in my first trimester. Ryan and I are expecting. Surprise! Really? Oh, that's good news. This calls for a celebration. Tell Ryan I want to come visit. To celebrate the baby. Okay, you clearly don't get what I'm trying to say. We're cutting off contact with you henceforth. That's not possible. You can't just get rid of me. I'm family. You brought this on yourself, Carol. There's no way we're putting up with you anymore just in the name of family. Bye! Help me! Lisa! My life is ruined! Carol? My god, I thought I'd never hear from you again. <laughs> Please help me! What is it? I'm in a lot of trouble right now and there's no one to call for help. This is what happens when you don't value family. Now that you're in trouble, you think you can suddenly call for me and I come running? No way. You can't do this to me. I'm, I'm homeless. What, homeless? I'm curious, fill me in. Well, I, um, I sold my house. You did? I don't understand. Why would you sell your house all of a sudden? Um, I had no choice. The court sued me for submitting forged divorce papers. I had to pay a huge fine, but I didn't have enough money. So I sold my house. Okay, you sold your house. You settled the court. So what do you need me for? That's the problem. It's not enough to settle the court. Why? I remember the kind of house Ryan got you. It should get a good sell-off price. I didn't know how to go about selling off the house. So I asked my friend's daughter to help me. She sold my house and ran off with the money. All of it! The lady whose pictures you sent to my husband? <laughs> huh? He told you about that? Yes, he did. That's when he decided to cut off all ties with you totally. So that amazing woman who was supposed to be a much better wife than me, 
turned out to be just as devious and self-centered as you are. Like attracts like, I guess. <laughs> oh my goodness. Don't be so heartless, Lisa. I know you've got loads of kindness in your heart. Really? What happened to all that talk of me being a slut and a bad wife? I'm sorry for all the hurtful things I said to you, Lisa. Now I know the truth. You're a good woman. Hardworking and dedicated. The kind of person I never was for Ryan. So I was jealous of you. That's why I acted the way I did. Please speak to Ryan on my behalf. I really have nowhere to go. I hardly have any cash to spare. I've realized my mistakes now. And I'm sorry. No, you're not. You're only coming to me because you're in serious trouble. In your words, a leopard never changes its spots. So I don't believe you. You can't do this to me. I have nowhere to go. No family to call. I can't believe this. My ex-mother-in-law is now homeless and poor. Karma sure is a real bitch. <laughs> I'm an old lady and I can't work again. Help me, please. Can you speak to Ryan for me? I'm sure he's forgiven me. Speak to him yourself if you're so sure. He's forgiven you. He seemed to have blocked my number because I couldn't reach him at all. That is exactly what I'll be doing right now. Blocking you forever. I could be jailed. I don't want to go to prison. You can go to hell for all I care. I wrote my final exams just before relocating with my husband and got promoted at my job as a result. Months later, I delivered a beautiful baby girl. I later quit my job to start a marketing company of my own and became very rich. My husband and I are living the best life together. As for my crazy mother-in-law, you ask? Well, she was sentenced to one year in jail since she couldn't pay the fine the court ordered. When she got out of prison, I heard she was forced to go to a home for the elderly. Now that I think about it, she could have been a narcissist. I believe she's paying dearly for neglecting Ryan as a child, seeing she's also alone in her old age. What goes around does come around.